ancient pottery, glass sculptures, intricate jewelry designs, traditional wood carvings. Our collection is 40,000 objects total, and many of those are some of the finest examples of the types of art that they represent. We do have the largest and most significant Katsina collection in the world. These works of art don't just make a statement. They speak of an experience and share a journey like none other. The Heard Museum was founded in 1929. It is world renowned for its Native American art collection. But what the Heard does better than anybody else is successfully combine the stories of the American Indian from their own personal perspective along with the beauty of their art. Because of the success of showcasing pieces of art and the stories behind them, other museums are now following the herd. It's a very special thing that we are able to do here is put our contemporary art in context of the traditions from which they come and the cultures from which the artists come. And that's the focus of the museum's newest exhibit. Pop is one of the most fun things I think the Heard Museum has done in a long time. Modern art is often more about the individual artist, but it's very important that we show our modern contemporary art because these are dynamic living cultures and Indian people today are working in exciting art forms, sometimes drawing from the traditions of the past and sometimes more influenced by the more mainstream artists of the country. Like 20th century artist Andy Warhol, Native American pop artists present a modern social commentary. It's a commentary masked in beauty then weaved through centuries of indigenous art. What our goal is to do is to serve both Native people, but also, as importantly, to be an education for those people who come to Phoenix, and we try to teach them what the Indian experience is about. Whether traditional or modern, subtle or bold, Native American art echoes stories of experience through expression, and they are stories that the Heard Museum is proud to tell. <laughs> <laughs>